guys. It's Monday, April 20th, and I just wanted to share some encouragement for you today. We've been talking a lot about the story of Moses and the Exodus and uh, their flight across the Red Sea and all of that. And uh, I was in Exodus 17 today, and I noticed how the chapter is really divided into two portions. The first part talks about the Israelites' need um, and their concerns about God not meeting that need. They were thirsty, they were hungry, and God provided for them despite their complaint. Um, I don't believe that, they, that God provided them because they complained. I believe he already had provision in motion, and they complained, and um, that didn't hurry it along. Long. The second part of that chapter, however, is about victory and how, how we uh, assume a posture of victory. Um, it shows the Israelites come up against the Amalekites and as long as Moses has his hands in the air, like so, the Amalekites are losing and the Israelites are winning. But when he tires, when his arms come down, they start to uh, lose. The Israelites start to lose. And so their solution was to have uh, two men hold up Moses' arms while the fight continued. Um, I was curious about this posture. Um, we think of this posture as victory of championship. And that's actually, it's actually called... Um, a power pose. Uh, social psychologists have talked about this, that this power pose is uh, a stance of victory. It's uh, our chest lifted up, our arms up, um, and our heads held high. And I thought, wow, that's how, as worshipers, we stand, right? When we get together and we worship as a body, oftentimes you'll look around the sanctuary and people will have their hands in the air and their arms lifted high and their faces up and their chest expanded, expanded with, with song and with with joy and I thought wow that is how the Israelites won because they took on a posture of victory um, this power posing they actually suggest to do that before you go into stressful situations such as a job interview or negotiations or things like that they say that two minutes of power posture um, will increase your endorphin levels uh, up testosterone and lower cortisol or stress hormones and so Physically, when we put our arms in the air and we put our head back and we, we expand our chest with, with praise and with worship, it does something in us. It changes us. It changes our mindsets. It makes us feel better. And so what all this kind of got me to this morning was I haven't been in service on a Sunday morning since this pandemic uh, began and I have been worshiping at home but it's very rare that I'll stop in my own kitchen and put my hands in the air or like in the car my hands can't fit in the air and so I haven't put my hands up in that posture of victory in in quite a while and I realized that my mindset has not taken on that posture of victory because I haven't been participating physically with my body and so this week I asked you guys to send me some of your favorite worship songs and I just challenge you to go ahead and get in your room or in the garage or out in your yard or wherever you need to go and get those hands up in the air so that you can feel that victory. Um, that's how they won. They didn't win because they complained. They won when they chose to praise God while they were still fighting the battle. And so I just wanna encourage you in this pandemic to keep fighting the battle. And the way that we do that is through worship. The way that we do that is through praise, through belief that God really will see us through. He's been faithful to a thousand generations. Why would ours be any different? All right, God bless you. Have a great Monday.